there was a question on the community recently about how to create a sprint when you have uh, tasks or issues from uh, different projects. So this question was asked uh, from uh, Donata and Donata is asking about, I want to create sprint where task will be taken from different projects. How to start this successfully? I am working with the uh, software projects on latest cloud Jira version. So what would be tips and tricks to have sprint board easy to work on? How to manage filters so that I can make sure the team sees all the issues and does not lose track of it. So let us open our uh, Jira cloud instance and uh, let, let us try to answer this uh, question. So of course, so we have this uh, uh, instance where we have multiple uh, projects and I, and I do have a lot of uh, projects using uh, the software type. So we have this bug tracking project, which is using uh, classic software. We also have Kanban and uh, we can also create maybe uh, more, uh, uh, more projects. So we also have this uh, classic Scrum, uh, classic software. So we have few projects that we can uh, potentially use. So the first thing that I will do is, uh, I will probably create a filter to include these projects in uh, in my uh, board. But the good thing is that if you're using uh, Jira, uh, you can also use Jira software functionality to create this board and choose the projects that you want to include in your uh, board. So you can also, of course, uh, later on uh, create sprints and your board will, uh, or your backlog will display all the issues coming from multiple uh, projects. So let us do that. So for doing this, you need to first uh, uh, create a board. So if you go to the search uh, Jira, if, so, you know, there is a, there is a, there is an icon here on the left hand side uh, that says search. If you click on it and if you notice, there is an option here called uh, boards. So let us click on the board first and uh, you have all the boards uh, that you have on your Jira instance. Right now we are using uh, the cloud version. So you can click on the button on top called create a board. Now you have the option to create either Scrum or Kanban. So since we want to manage the sprints, we'll uh, worry about Scrum only. So let us create a Scrum board. And uh, when you click on the Scrum board, you have the option to create a board with new software project. So, so basically this interface will give you an option to create a project as well. Uh, you can also create a board from uh, an existing project and uh, you can also create a board from an existing saved filter. So if you have a filter already, you can use it. So you have all the options. So for this particular example, I just want to create a board and I just want to select uh, my whole project that I already have. Uh, so if I click on the next option, I can give this name like uh, multiple projects board and then I can select my uh, my projects here. So let us select uh, our, uh, I think we have something like Scrum and maybe um, a board, uh, I think there is, no, not a board, but a bug tracking uh, project. So let us create a project with uh, two, uh, let us create a board with two projects. We can also have more if you want. and. Uh, this interface will also ask you to to select a location of this board. So you, you also have the option to take a look at the uh, board when you are within a project. So you can maybe have uh, a master project where you want to manage everything, all the high level activities, but uh, it is something that you can configure. But for, for, to be honest, uh, you can always go to the boards and take a look at the board itself directly without worrying about the project. So that is up to you if you want to select it or not. Uh, so you can also select uh, your own personal name and uh, I, I believe uh, it will not be tied to a selected project uh, here. So let us create a board quickly and uh, let us see how it looks like. So when you click when you, when you click on the create board, the board will be uh, created and it will basically have uh, all the projects or rather I should say all the issues in those projects available in your uh, backlog. So right now we have, uh, of course, uh, the option here uh, 
to take a look at the stories. So let, let me click on my story number one. It is part of my Scrum project. The other one also is part of Scrum. But if I take a look at the bug, uh, so bug is also part of uh, Scrum. So let me do one thing. Let me create one issue. So let me when you click on the create issue, you will have an option to select uh, any board that you want. But uh, since we have uh, selected bug tracking earlier, so I'll probably focus on bug tracking. So I'll probably uh, create a summary with something like bug one. And it could be any issue of uh, uh, maybe of improvement type or task or new feature or maybe an epic. It is really uh, based on the configuration of your project. So when you click on the create option, let me create one more. So this is my, my bug number one. I'll probably create bug number two. And I think two is enough to demonstrate. So when you create uh, these uh, these issues, or maybe you have issues already, they will be listed here in your backlog. Uh, one thing which is probably a bit uh, confusing, or maybe for the end user uh, to understand whether this bug is part of my uh, bug tracking project, or maybe it is part of my Scrum project. Uh, what you can also do, you can also add a filter on top or maybe we can have few other few additional fields. So let us take a look at the configuration options of this board. So if I go to the board settings, I will probably add a quick filter maybe uh, just to uh, just to have some uh, some possibilities uh, where we can select the the project name and uh, I, so let us name this as a Scrum project. So this is my quick filter number one. I'll probably add uh, my bug project and I'll add uh, a, a JQL here, which is, uh, I believe, BT, if I'm not wrong. Yes. So we have added uh, two quick filters. And if you go back to the board, uh, let us see how it looks like. So we have on, and, and by the way, when you're looking at the board itself, the key should be enough to basically differentiate because the key is always prefixed with this uh, uh, project. Uh, uh, I mean, the issue key is prefixed with the project key. So this is, I think, uh, good enough. But uh, since we also added uh, the uh, the option on top using a quick filter, you can quickly filter only issues from bug project or maybe scrum project. So if you click on uh, a scrum project, only issues from that particular project will be shown. So this is something that you can do. Uh, I mean, uh, I'm just giving you some quick tips to make this more effective. Uh, let us see what else we can do. If I go to the board settings and if I go to the uh, maybe card layout. So, so we are looking at uh, the backlog uh, view and uh, maybe we can add uh, some additional fields like uh, project. So if you select your project name here under the field name and if you add it to the maybe the backlog and we can also do the same thing for the uh, active sprint. We should have a new field that will clearly tell you that uh, this particular pro this particular issue called bug one is from scrum project. Uh, this is from uh, bug tracking project. And this information is also there. I mean, this additional field is also there on your uh, on your active sprint uh, section here. So let us say if we add, if maybe, maybe we start, let us say, uh, or maybe I'll just add this uh, issue from bug tracking project to my active sprint. And now we have two, two issues. The summary is same. Of course, the key is different if you look at their key on the right hand side. But if you go to the active sprint, uh, the additional field here uh, that we added, the project field will be quite good and uh, it will give you this clear indication that this is from a different project. I believe we can also do one more thing apart from a quick filter on top and adding this field. Uh, we can probably add uh, a different color. So let us see how we can do that. So if you go to the card color, you can uh, have a card color based on a JQL. So if you select here, let us say um, project is uh, equal to scrum. So we have uh, Maybe we, I want all my Scrum based issues to be visible using uh, maybe a different color. Let me uh, just select a different color here, a, a bit of a gray. And uh, I'll add maybe one more uh, JQL 
to select my uh, issues coming from my bug tracking uh, project. So we have uh, defined this JQL and uh, this JQL is actually configured to display card in a different color. So if you go back to the color, uh, not to the color, but uh, go back to the board, the active board, uh, we have uh, this uh, this line on the left hand side that I think is quite clear. So this is something you know that you can probably do if you go to the backlog view. You have the same lines that will tell you very clearly how to have different colors, how to differentiate these issues, and how to find them uh, very easily. So maybe if you want to give this indication to your, uh, or maybe if you want to, to probably uh, let your developers know or your team members know that you know these are the few things that will help you in. Uh, finding the issues that are from uh, different uh, projects on the same board, then I think uh, uh, they should be able to manage their work uh, quite easily and effectively. So this is all I wanted to share in this video. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new today. Thank you very much.